Fellwater Trogos, aka River Trolls, coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody and welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies What's in the Box where we will be looking at the Fellwater Tragus, otherwise known as River Trolls from the old days since this is an old square, square base box. Anyway, these amazing models are surely worth the wait of waiting a few seconds to see them. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, let's go down to our table and see what's in the box. And here we are, right back down on the old river as we check out our Fellwater Trogos, formerly known as River Trolls. Yeah, I've had this box for a while, secretly hidden away in my basement. <laughs> All right, so if we look at this side of the box, we get a close-up picture as well as, in many, many languages, everything you ever need to know about this kit. This end, of course, we have the Trogoth sitting this way. <laughs> a little hard to see. This side of the box is a long ways. And this side of the box is uh, kind of so you can lie it flat. <laughs> anyway, if you look at the back of the box here, we have the three models that come in this kit. This box contains three river trolls, or Fellwater Trogoths, as they're now known in the Age of Sigmar world. There's our colors, which have all been renamed now. <laughs> yeah, this box is from quite a while ago. So what we will do now is we will open up the box and see what the gray plastic pieces look like. But before we actually take a look at the plastic pieces, let's just have a look at our instruction sheet. Now this one has a copyright date of 2009 on it from the Games Workshop. So you know it's been done quite a long time ago. The instructions fold open this way. And this is Games Workshop's early attempts at computer-generated instruction sheets, which is kind of interesting. These are the three troll bodies that you get. Trogoth bodies, pardon me. <laughs> Got to keep up with the times. There's A, B, and C. And they have certain parts in common. There's a front and a back, and a left hand and a right hand set of legs. They all go together much the same, but the detail is different. So pay attention because each one is stamped with the letter inside it. So make sure you know which one is going to the right foot and left foot, and whatever. These are the different heads that you get. You actually get five different head assemblies, which is quite nice. The one, of course, that's vomiting. <laughs> then here is the head going on to the body and the different types of back pieces that match up with each of the different type of troll heads, trogoth heads, whatever. They're crests. And then if we turn the instructions over, we, of course, get the different types of arms that they have and the assembly of each of the arms, leading us to our three Trogoths down here. Now, let's take a look at our plastic sprue. It's interesting to note that with the three Trogoths, we actually get three sprue part trees, which is interesting. But as you can see here, we've got the back and the front of one of the Trogoths, the B sprue, I do believe. Um, you can see the nice detail work here with the fur and of course the fur on the little covering down there. <laughs> the different arms. This one of course is holding a great weapon. This one is holding a not so great weapon. <laughs> All right. That's a time of day, I guess. Not too much to see on this side. Of course, the detail with the arms is quite nice. Let's just bring this closer to the camera. So there you have your big weapon and the arms going for that and the smaller weapon there. There's the detail on the backs and on the front. And of course, look at the 
the nice detail on the sculpt of the head here. I prefer that my camera will stay in focus. So that's our first sprue. Here we have the second Fellwater Trogoth. This, of course, is the one with the vomit and the different faces, the arms, the body. This one is carrying something, so it's got a strap going across the body there. And the arms, this has got A stamped on it. So this should be the first actual Fellwater Trogoth. Now bringing this up into the camera view. There you can see the belt on the back and the one on the front here. There's his weapon. Look at the nice vein detail on the arms and the hands. There's that rather grotesque vomit that's coming out with all the little things in it. I think they're like half digested fish and whatnot. Hope none of you are eating fish and chips right now. <laughs> There's the head of it and the different components here and there. Do you actually use the Fellwater Trogoths in your army? And if so, how are they working out for you? Let us know in the comments down below. And then we'll get into our final sprue. Here's our final sprue for review. This is the Sea Monster. Haha, <laughs> get it? Anyway, there's his weapon and the arm that kind of points out. There's the other arms there. And here's the crests that go on their backs, which would be in this area here, I do believe. And there's our faces. So let's bring our sea monster up into the camera. Which one of these Fellwater Tragas is your favorite on here? A, B, or C? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, that's more of a question for the guys that have built these. Look at those nice crests in there. A lot of good detail, a lot of crisp stuff. You know, this is a uh, Games Workshop was redesigning a lot of these figures for Warhammer Fantasy and bringing them up into a more modern look. And they did a fantastic job on, on these sculpts, which uh, of course later became our parts tree here. And that concludes our review of the Fellwater Tragas, otherwise formerly known as the River Trolls. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this amazing review of the Fellwater Trugus, formerly known as River Trolls. Formerly known like the artist. Anyway, when you uh, play these things, let me know how you do in the comments below. So, don't forget to come on down and visit us Monster Hobbies personally. I'll be happy to see you at our Games Workshop display where we have stuff like Warcry and a box of silver tower and then we have some other models here like the night goblins or gloom spite gets which will help you a lot in your battles with gloom spite armies and then we have the lorthern sky cutter which is soon slated to disappear the wood elf glade guard regiment which is also slated to disappear and our Empire Greatswords, which are amazingly sticking around in the new cities book coming out sometime in the future. I don't know as of this video. But until next time, I wish you luck with your Fellwater Tragus on the battlefield.